start the pump. exploded. I'll have to go and fix it. Option three. All this trouble over one little fart. There. What's so wrong with that, eh? It's natural. It's so bloody natural you can't help it sometimes. I cleared everyone out of the house. Right. And now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a dinner to attend to. And your main cause. It's a council matter now. I have it on very good authority that this man and his partner in crime, yes, crime, were planning to convert this loft into another bedroom. Aye, ah, so there you have it. So, you've been most kind, Doctor, but I'll take it from me, yeah? Right, on my count of five, you know what to do. You know, I must say, you never look better, more succulent or tastier in all your life. You've been a good friend to me. A fat one, but a good one. And now, if you'll excuse me, there's only one option left to me. I'm going to have to eat my way through you to get out. One half a day. Five. Four. Three. Two. What's that noise? Basking shark en route to London Zoo, today broke free from her shackles in mid-flight. The fish fell 3,000 feet and crashed into the roof of the Blouting Council House, containing the trapped men Peter Pope and Donald Trotter. The shark was killed instantly upon impact and caused Donald Trotter to evacuate his bowels, thus reducing his mass and freeing him from the loft hatch. Both men received minor cuts and bruises. In an interview, Mrs Maureen Trotter said she would never try to contain her husband's natural urges again. A small funeral service will be held for the shark at sea next Tuesday. And finally, the weather. It'll be raining cats and dogs all day. 